Hold on to your butts. Yeah, I'm really excited right now. <gasps> We've got uh, Abby uh, A with us. Yes, we have. <laughs> Um, how's it going, dude? <laughs> Very well, thank you. Thank you yeah, of guys. course. How's how's your E3 been so far? You've been a busy guy. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's my first time in the convention center, mm -hmm. uh, which, which sucks because I love checking out all the games and I just haven't had as much time to, to get around. But after this, I'm hoping to check out as much as possible. Nice, do a tour. Exactly. Uh, but yes, it was a big Fortnite tournament. That was amazing fun. And uh, then I'm flying home in a few hours' time. So it's oh, crazy. man. It's oh. Crazy. Yeah. How long is your flight back home? About 10 hours, 9, 10 hours. Oh, yeah, it's long, I am sorry. I'm just going to sleep. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you just sleep and dream about all the games that we were able exactly. to see before you exactly. left. Exactly. Uh, yeah. You've, you, I mean, Just Cause 4 oh, is yeah. absolutely amazing Definitely. we've been celebrating this for like the last day and a half mm -hmm. we've got loads more to go uh comes out in december you my friend have had a chance to play this just call are you familiar with just cause before this game Definitely. Uh, I actually played it quite a lot with the original uh, titles when I was in school, a little bit younger. Everyone had it on their PlayStation. we go over to each other's houses and just try and do as much crazy stuff as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and every iteration of the game, it just gets more crazy, more fun, more action-packed. And as you said, I got a chance to play Just Cause 4 early. Um, and it is amazing. I did as much crazy stuff as I could and just uh, everyone's going to love it. I can't, can't wait for it to come out. Awesome. Well, just um, as a side note, guys, we knew that, or we found out that uh, Ali his mic wasn't working, so we apologize for the beginning of uh, the conversation. Uh, but it was just us screaming and fangirling out anyway, so you didn't miss <laughs> too much. It was just me cheering. <laughs> I basically just cheered yeah. for a minute or two, so there, there we go. Yeah. Um, that's great you played Just Cause already. I mean, this, this, for you, playing open world kind of sandbox games, um, I know, you're, I know you love playing stories and campaign modes, but how much fun do you love having when you get the entire world at your disposal. I think that's like the ultimate gamer's dream really is to have yeah. a whole world at your disposal in the sandbox form, especially as a content creator. It allows me to go into the world and do whatever I want, create whatever I want, and then almost like make stories within within the world of Just Cause 4, for example. And then you can tell those stories through videos and people get to watch you just do crazy stuff. And in the world like, like Just Cause 4, you can do as much crazy stuff as you want. So it's amazing. What were some of the specific things when you uh, found out you we're going to have an early access to the game that you definitely absolutely wanted to check out. Uh, so I actually tried out every single weapon that I could possibly try out. Yeah. Um, I used, I think, some of the snipers, uh, the auto rifles, the SMGs, the shotguns. And the great thing is about them in this game is that they've all got like an alternate fire option. So some of the weapons have like homing in missiles. You just stand there, click the <laughs> alternate fire button and it goes and destroys oh, all the bad guys. It's, glorious. Uh -huh. it's amazing. Uh, so I was definitely wanting to give the combat as much of a go as possible. Yeah. Um, but then also obviously the grapple, like one of the staple points within the just Cause series uh, now the addition of like balloons and, and just the customization I don't know how much has been shown on the stream but the amount of customization with the grapple is crazy yeah you can spend hours and hours alone just fiddling with all the settings so you can really create some crazy crazy action points in the game I mean we've, we've, we've got to ask you as well one of the big things that Jess and I are huge fans of as well we saw the forces of nature oh, trade yeah. earlier on oh yeah the weather, baby. The it is, weather. It is crazy. Dude, did you see a tornado? What happened? Oh, to yeah, everything? yeah. So I think I'm right in saying there's like four biomes within the world. Mm -hmm. um, I got to explore one of them, and the big nature point was a tornado. And uh, I don't know how much I can say about it, but it went into an airport and just destroyed everything. <laughs> there was literally like a massive plane, a, a passenger plane, yeah. just being ripped to shreds by this tornado. Yeah, so, that's the demo that I think that they have here playing yeah. at the uh, booth. So yeah. I, I saw that and it looked so cool. Everyone Actually, needs to the try planes out. getting sucked out of the air might be one of my favorite things yeah. about it. It's nuts. It's so this, the, the damage and obviously with it being in the sandbox world, it just interacts with everything differently depending on where this tornado is going. So it's crazy yeah well this this whole blowout is all about world exclusives Ali yes. we love a world exclusive yes. and we have one courtesy of you as well um, Ali you got a chance to play Just Cause 4 early we yes. all cannot wait to see this video I want you to look down the lens there for <laughs> me my friends and introduce your worldwide exclusive <laughs> to the world so Adam hyping this up massively <laughs> but that is right we do have the world exclusive of my very first Just Cause 4 video I get to check out a tornado I get to check out a load of weapons mess around with the grapple and the new balloons as well. So guys, without further ado, let's check out my world exclusive Just Cause 4 video. So I've got an idea, okay? I've got a... No, what the heck? Welcome everyone.
everyone, my name's Ali A, and today, right here, right now, we are about to get an early look and explore the huge world of the brand new Just Cause 4. It has just been announced and just been shown at E3. I'm lucky enough to get hands on with it early. We are going to be exploring and checking out the rainforest biome, checking out a load of new weapons, a load of new grapple features, and just having as much destructive fun as we can. If you're excited for this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. Without further ado, guys, let's check out the brand new world of Just Cause 4. So at the moment, we are above a drone factory, believe it or not. So we're going to go and check it out. And first of all, I've noticed this helicopter right here. Oh my gosh. You know what? We're going to have to deal with some enemies to start off with. These guys don't know. We've got a good shot, so they definitely shouldn't be messing with us. And we're going to fly our way down into the drone factory. I've actually never used it before, so this could go horrifically wrong. Or horrifically well. I think it's got missiles and a machine gun on it as well. Oh my god. Oh my gosh! Okay, forget that. We're coming in a different way. We're gonna fly all the way to the ground and land nice and safe using the grapple. I'm waiting for us just over here. What is this? The perfect vehicle for us to head straight into this drone factory. We're probably not invited guests. In fact, we're definitely not invited guests to this drone factory. Oh, this car sounds beautiful. Oh my god. I did not think it would take them. Jeez, chill! Woo! So that guy is one of the enemies that has got himself his own little barricade and minigun. These guys, they definitely do not want us here. Here we go. Whoa! Holy mother! This is definitely a drone factory. Okay, so not only we have humans shooting at us, we've also got drones taking us on as well. Let's go and explore a little bit more. This looks important. It looks pretty important. So I think if we head in that direction, that is probably the right way to go. Obviously, we're going to grapple our way over there. It's just a little bit quicker and definitely a lot cooler. Let's fly our way in. And you know what? I don't think I like the look of that tower very much. I think I'm actually going to try and take it down. That is one very, very tall building. Now, I've also got myself the grenade launcher. I'm pretty sure we can mess this thing up. We can also use burst fire. Oh, oh my... Just like that, we have absolutely messed it up. Okay, guys, my shenanigans have definitely alerted the Black Hand. The main bad guys in this game, they aren't happy that I'm blowing up their bases. But you know what? I'm not happy that they're here to stop me. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> this grenade launcher is amazing. But I need to try it. You know what? I'm just going to throw myself off. I'm going for it. I'm coming in. And I'm not afraid of you guys. I'm not afraid at all. Let's get some high advantage up here. Looks like someone else has got the same idea as me, though. Yeah, someone's on the other building as well. All right, I'm coming in for you. I'm not afraid. Oh, we made up! Hey, buddy! Okay, see you later. One guy down, but that's not the only one. Let's not forget about all the people down here as well. And they definitely haven't forgotten about me. Now, I know this weapon is an alternate fire. I actually can't remember what it... Holy! Don't kill yourself, Ali! Jeez! Okay, that was a lot more destructive than I thought it was going to be. See you later. No shield is going to protect you against this weapon. This is crazy. I think we're doing a good job here, apart from almost blowing ourselves up. There we go. Woo! Well, talk about an explosive and action-packed beginning to this adventure. I don't think those guys like what I did to their factory, but you know what? That was one epic explosion. But we need to go and find some more action, and I think I have an idea as to where we can go. We are just outside another factory. This is the Balloon Factory. There's so many factories here in the world. Oh, my. Okay. Okay. They're here for me! For a while, they looked a little bit friendly. This is going to be a perfect time. Get ready. I'm use this car as a distraction. You ready? Holy! That could not have blown up any better part of the bridge. Oh, my God. This is an... Okay. I should have realized that taking these guys on outside of their... There's a freaking helicopter. Oh, my God. Can I, can I get in this car? Get out of here. I am very, very close to death right now. Oh, my God. This is a nice car. No! Why does there a hole here as well? Get out! Oh my god, we somehow survived. But this is not... Oh my god, no, we are so dead. We are so dead. Get away! Ooh! I was trying to make a nice, quiet entrance. 
before I knew it, everyone was on me. So there's a little bit of clearing here. We've rebel dropped in this vintage muscle car, a beautiful beast, I must say. We were up there quite far away, but I've decided, because we're going to be making it up to the factory over here, we're going to try an alternate entry method. Now, this should be really fun. So you can now attach balloons to your grapples, and I believe you can grapple up to about 10 times. So you can have 10 different grapples out at once. So this is gonna be a little bit of creative engineering. So bear with me as we give this a go. So there goes balloon number one, balloon number four. Okay, so I'm gonna get into the vehicle, okay? So these balloons are just dangling on the edge of the car, but I can actually... There we go! We're going up! Okay, we've created our own custom balloon vehicle to get us up to the factory. This may not have been high enough. We're going, we needed more balloons. Actually, you know what? This could work, this could work. That's all we need, a slight elevation to get us up. Oh, we're almost there. Nice, we are in. Oh my God, from the floating car, which may or may not still be around, we have made it into the factory, but we are definitely not going in quietly. I have a shotgun, I have a beautiful machine gun, and check, oh my gosh, it's destroyed. I didn't even cause this. This wasn't even me. But watch this, I can put it down. We're this is gonna be a machine gun 1v1. Oh my God. He's already down, did all of the hard work for himself and oh my gosh, no, he's still, a he's crazy. This machine gun alternate fire is so good. Is that an innocent, no, that's definitely, that is definitely not an innocent bystander. I feel like, look at him. Okay, this is time for a shotgun. Hold on. I'm gonna do a little bit of a sneak. Oh my gosh. Leave me alone. There's my car! No way! It made it! It made it! It is completely destroyed. And I think that's what set off that gas station as well. But that is so... That is amazing. What are you doing, buddy? See you later! Oh my god. I think we've got snipers as well. Is that my car again? It is not leaving... Holy moly! We need to sort this guy out. Here we go. We're going... Oh my gosh, there's explosions already. We're coming all the way in. Surprise! Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. This is extremely risky. I am so weak. Holy, no! I am barely living right now. There's so many snipers aiming at me. There's so many rockets aiming at me. Here we go, there's one of them down. Where do you think you're going, buddy? You're not getting away. Where's this guy lining up on me? Look at him! Oh, look at that. Good shots, good shots. I think that's him down. So we've made it to the balloon factory. And of course, our balloon, a car mounted balloon, or balloon mounted, no, car mounted, balloon mounted car. Basically, our car with a load of balloons on it. I set the balloons to be guided and go wherever I want them to. That's why they've been following us, guys. They will not leave us alone. But I've got myself a few new weapons. I've got myself the combat rifle, which is deadly accurate. And um, set, oh, look at that, that is so cool. And I've also got myself the SMGs, the two brand new weapons. I'm actually gonna use these things, that's right, to get a, set myself a little bit of height and then launch onto the next wave of enemies that are over here. This is the SMG, high speed power destruction from this weapon. Super good at close range. All right, guys, I'm actually gonna use my car with a load of balloons to take me to the next spot. So look, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna have to put one more balloon on the side of this car, I reckon. And I'm gonna set that to uh, go up as well. No, wait for me! Okay, we made it, we made it! I've gotta go take this guy out. Oh my gosh! That is definitely the end of that guy. That'll teach him to fire some sniper shots at me. We had balloon car version one. This is, this is what's left of it. It's gone, it's destroyed. But this beautiful, beautiful supercar right here, which does bear a similar resemblance to my own car. And I have to say, it looks very, very nice. See this massive, vast, oh my God. I don't like heights, by the way. This is a very, very tall height. I'm gonna attach a load of balloons to it. The idea is we're gonna drive it off the edge with the balloons not expanded, not blown up. And then mid flight, mid air, we're gonna make all the balloons fill up and we're gonna try and float to safety and land it. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, if balloon and car version two is doable. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Tap. Let's go. No, take me up. No. Oh my gosh. It's working. We're flying in the air, kind of. We've lost three balloons. We're down to 
100% capacity! I don't even know where we are! What happened? Does that count as a failure or suc I think that- We had six balloons! It's floating! It does work! I think I've realized what we may have done wrong. We had the balloons unguided! So, maybe if they were unguided, it would have worked. The potential is absolutely crazy in this game. There's so much you can do. So I've got an idea, okay? I've got a- No! What the heck? We're gonna have eight balloons this time. So the first one is gonna be a balloon. And the second part of the grapple is gonna be a booster. There we go. It is complete. An eight balloon, eight booster setup. Now last time, I was putting myself in danger. Danger. That's just stupid. So I am gonna be in this- Beautiful, beautiful helicopter. We're just gonna watch and see what happens. So my first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold for the boosters. I'm gonna send the truck off the edge and they're gonna quickly tap. The balloons are gonna hopefully lift it up and we're just gonna watch it go off into the distance and this may or may not work. Three, two, one. There goes the boosters, quickly, where the balloons? It's going up, it's gone into heaven. It worked guys and it was beautiful. Is that it? Is that my truck? I think that's the truck. We found it, it destroyed. But the thing is it worked. This is going to be test number three or four. I don't know, I've lost count. I think it's number four. This car is obviously a little bit smaller. I'm gonna give it six balloons as well. And everything's a little bit more tame at least in terms of the boosters. So rather than send it spiraling off, hopefully this will do what I want it to do. I am going to get onto the roof. I'm gonna first of all try and take off, all right? So I'm gonna tap the balloons. Okay, we're up, we're up, we're up, we're up. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's extremely loud, but we are good. Yes, boosters are in action. No! Oh my gosh. This is insane. Oh my god. The bridge is gone. Get out of that plane. No. Guys, this tornado is going to continue its complete terror of this poor, poor airport. I don't think there's anything I could do to stop this thing for the moment. But let's not forget all the fun we've had. We've attached balloons. We've attached uh, boosters to cars. We've thrown ourselves off of mountains. We've had successful missions. We've had failed missions. And we checked out a load of weapons that will be available in Just Cause 4. So hopefully you guys have really enjoyed an early look at this game. A big thanks to the guys at Square Enix for letting me get hands on and play this game early. If you guys have liked what you see, then keep your eyes and ears out for more Just Cause news as it leads up to its launch. I'm sure with the amount of fun and destruction I've had today, you guys want to get hands on with this as well. There's nothing stopping that tornado. Guys, I'm going to leave it there before that does any more damage and probably obliterates the rest of the map. If you've enjoyed, give it a big fat thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always for another video. Goodbye. Yes! That was, nice. that was amazing! That was really <laughs> good. The tornado at the end. <laughs> you chasing in the storm chaser. Oh, yeah. A giant car falling on you from the yeah. tornado yeah. whilst driving. Genius. It, I, yeah. Just took me by surprise and I was like, oh my God, it's the, the most dangerous thing I've ever done in a video game ever. It's crazy. It yeah, was, we, it was, we, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, it was, it was a proper balloon party. Like, it, you, you were having <laughs> a torrid time with the airlifters. Yeah. But boy, oh boy, you loved them. I think there's just so much you can do with them. And like, I had a limited time with the game. I wanted to just try things that came into my head. I was like, I want to try and like ride a car with balloons on it. I want to try and remote control it. So I tried everything I possibly could. I think almost all of them were a failure, but yeah. you know what, you've got to try <laughs> yeah, it and I give didn't it want to go. point that out, but yeah. I was like, ooh, I see the struggle <laughs> yeah. happening here. But you know what, that's all part of the game. So um, if people want to check out this uh, trailer, where can they check it out on your channel? Yes, uh, the video will be going live. The full video we've just seen again on my YouTube channel um, almost straight after a stream, very soon after a stream, so uh -huh. they can go and check it out, give the video a like and rewatch it and check it out and see all the action. Amazing. Yeah, it was really interesting. I'm glad you brought up the fact that the car fell on top of the storm chaser yeah. because we were talking to the devs yesterday and I had asked them like, okay, so then do you also, like as Rico, do you also have to watch out for debris and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, And they're like, oh yeah, that thing yeah. is random. It's going to drop it on you. Like you have the potential of being taken out. 
That's the thing. And some of that. A few times in the video, actually, re-watching it, a lot of environmental stuff was going on. It's like a knock-on chain effect of something I'd done earlier. It's like giant gas cylinders on fire, which I yeah. hadn't directly shot at, but something else made it explode. Well, it and looked then, like your car. Yeah, the car was it. just yeah. destroyed. Um, and I didn't even realize I'd set the, the balloons to follow me, so the car was just following me around <laughs> everywhere I went. I mean, being someone who plays predominantly um, kind of FPSs and things, you, other than other t influences you had on so far, Far, were loving the weapon play as well, yes. like different guns and things. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, that thing we actually had the the, the machine gun one on one that yeah, was crazy. awesome. Yeah, that was cool. That was really cool. Also, I, mean, I can't believe that dude got back up. I know. Like you would think <laughs> that if you got your shield shot out of your <laughs> hands and knocked out, that maybe you don't yeah. stand back up again. Yeah. I personally, I personally enjoyed the the grenade launcher at three feet into the yeah, sniper. I, <laughs> that was a highlight for me. The thing is, obviously, it shows it was my first time playing because I was like, "What's the alternate fire on this?" <laughs> Press it and just I explode myself. So yeah. there was a lot of learning involved as well. But yeah, there's some great weapons in there. As you said, like I love my first-person shooters, any sort of shooters. And um, there was one like semi-automatic assault rifle, which was really accurate, so actually very deadly at taking enemies out a little bit longer range. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then you had the SMG as well, which could run around and spray people down. And as I said before we even played that video I just wanted to try and use all the weapons uh, that were yeah. possibly available to me and uh, yeah like it's awesome for people that love the combat side of things the messing around side of things it's all thrown into the yeah. game I also really like that out of all the videos so far that I've seen <coughs> yours really took a, a, a nice time with the different bases like being yeah. inside a base yeah, yeah, yeah. blowing up yeah, like key cool. elements yeah. I, I was actually really surprised that that smokes or that fire stack went up as fast as it yeah, did it was I crazy. was like oh shit oh, oops sorry <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh darn <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing that the whole world is destructible so I went yeah. in I was like there's a giant tower there with all of these uh, guys defending it so what happens if I take it out and it turns out they all try and shoot you and kill you so yeah I mean <laughs> as you'd yeah. expect did, yeah. did Celeste to you the new, the new map that we have did yes. it feel like a living breathing environment when you were playing it i think it didn't and the crazy thing is is that obviously i only explored one like almost less than a quarter of map like mm -hmm. far smaller than a quarter and there was so much more to go and explore and to be able to transition through all the biomes and all the different areas in one fluid world definitely feels like you're engrossed in this amazing experience it's crazy awesome well so are you looking forward to the release and are you going to be making more videos once it comes out i mean of course you saw the craziness that i got up to in the sort of two <laughs> yeah. hours that i had hands on with the game so to have the full game in my hands and uh do whatever i want is just going to be amazing when it comes out later this year so yeah definitely going to be checking it out more and uh I had like a limited time and a limited amount of weapons, limited amount of uh, part of the map to explore. So when the whole thing opens up, it's going to be even more craziness. Awesome. Well, Ali, thank you so much for being here thank to hang out with me. us. Yeah. Uh, Jess and I have loved having you on. Thank you so yeah. much. We love the video. And as you said, it's going to be on your channel today. Yes. The world exclusive you saw, guys, right here live on stream. But later on, Ali's channel. It is absolutely bang. I can't wait to watch it again. I yeah. want to see you Thank have you. that one-on-one -on -one again. I expect that was great. you in the comments saying, I've watched oh, this before. <laughs> I'll be commenting, Ali. I'll be commenting. All right, and guys, make sure and stick around because I have Frida and Omar as well as Malik joining us to talk a little bit more about the Black Hand. See you then.